Three fingers and a wet glass. What does that have to do with this brew review? I'll tell you in a minute. And welcome to the dead beer garden in the middle of winter, 40 degrees, absolute freezing wind hit me right in the back of the head. And that's where I get cold and tell you what, before we get things going here, if you're here because you like beer, let's be honest, why else would you be? Uh, tap that subscribe button. Thank you for your sub and support. Up this round is Pilsner Urquell by overwhelming report uh, uh, requests. And you may be saying, whoa, 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 that's not a cheap brew. I tap this for cheap brews. Well, uh, it has been uh, recommended and suggested, requested by so many viewers, um, as have other beers. If you go through my channel, over 170 brew reviews to date, we started with cheap brews and we still do cheap brews, but every once in a while we sort of up our game. We polish ourselves and get dressed up and go out for the evening. And that's what we're doing with Pilsner Urquell from the Czech Republic, 4.4% alcohol. It's one of these Euro bottles, 330 milliliters. That comes out about to 11.2 fluid ounces, which for every 12 pack, I think you're losing about six ounces of beer. So eh, there you go. Um, Pilsner Urquell, the original Pilsner beer. And that's what Pilsner comes from Pilsen in uh, Czech Republic. And the, the word Urquell is actually a German word, sort of a throwback to uh, the German influences, meaning uh, original source. So you have the uh, Pilsen or Pilsner original source. And that's what this brew is. The very first uh, Pilsner beer ever brewed from 18 and 42. We're going to be drinking this out of the very wet. I'll explain that in a minute. Sold out 2023 brew review pint glass red label to be complimented by the sold out Richardson's trucker cap painted leather patch red label cap. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop the top and see what we got. And of course, this is a proper European beer. No twist offs here. Gotta get your bottle opener for that. All right, a very laid back sort of Eastern European beer. Uh, I'll explain the whole three fingers thing uh, in, uh, in just a second, but let's go ahead and take a look at the pour. A very gold and European. Uh, you may be saying right now, whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Stop tilting the glass. Uh, the way they drink this in the Czech Republic, and I screwed it up. Um, they say, especially for a Pilsner or Kvel, uh, you want to start off with a wet glass and you want a, a really big head. Uh, three fingers of a head is the ideal way to drink it. Uh, there are numbers, some are even more head than brew, which I'll tell you my opinion on that in just a second. But three fingers is the optimal pour for a Pilsner or Kvel. Uh, for me, uh, I'm just getting ripped off. If I've got a head that big and I, I'm, I paid for a, a full beer and now you're filling half of it up with foam. However, Pilsner Urquell says that uh, you need that cap of foam, the wet foam, and that's why you start with a wet glass to, to uh, hold in the flavors of a, a true Pilsner Urquell, to hold that in. And, and the more foam, uh, you have different taste profiles from it. Come on. I think you're 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 screwing me out of a full beer. That's the way I look at it. Time for the nose, shall we? How did these sold out red label pine glass? Yes. See, uh, I was born in Germany, and so I'm sort of partial to European uh, by DNA. I have I have no control over it. Uh, European type of brews, styles of brews, and this as a pilsner, it has a very sophisticated smell to it. Nothing off-putting at all. You get that yeast, you get that... Uh, I'm imagining a, a dewy meadow morning in the fields of barley and wheat. Was that a, was that a song by Sting? I don't know. Um, I met Sting, got to hang out with him backstage. That's uh, a whole different story. I'll get to that later. Well, no, I won't get into it later because it's a long story. It has nothing to do with this beer. Uh, but yeah, you get that yeast. You get the the full natural smell of ingredients, the aromas. You don't get that cheap American adjunct uh, macro beer smell where you've got corn syrup and rice and wood. You don't get that. This is just a clean, straight up, adult, grown up type of beer. All right, so out of five stars coming up uh, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to give you my rating of Pilsner Urquell, uh, the original source. Um, how good a beer is it? All right, 
Grab yourself a beer. I don't want to drink alone. Cheers. Wow. I had to stop a little short because it was only 11.2 ounces. Uh, cold beer, cold day here in the dead beer garden. We're the only ones out here. We're the only idiots out here because it's freezing. All right. Uh, wow. Really sophisticated. This is, like I said, this is a grown-up beer. This isn't your Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, you know, macro 30-pack beer. No, I got a six-pack of Pilsner or Cavell for, I think it was $8.99, and really it's for a sophisticated European import. Uh, that's uh, hard to beat, really. That's, that's a really pretty good price. Uh, because this isn't a spring break beer bonging type of wet t-shirt contest by the hotel pool type of beer. No, this is a... A European cafe uh, outdoors, perhaps on a day like this, or it could be on the deck of a ski lodge when uh, you just finish uh, shushing in the Alps uh, and uh, you want to uh, kick back and, and enjoy the day. Yes, this is taking it up a level. It's not a uh, the Accord or Toyota Camry. This is more of a an Audi or a BMW, a Lexus type of a grown-up sophisticated beer. This is like getting dressed up to go out to eat at a nice steakhouse type of beer. Uh, it, really, the crispness and the cleanliness of the ingredients really comes through. Sweet, a little bit of a sweetness. The middle of the tongue, I'm feeling it in the middle of my tongue. That's what she said. Uh, a little bit of bitter, but not much. It is a very balanced beer. I usually don't like balanced beers. I like extremes. Lacing, hanging on there into the uh, red label sold out. 2023 pint glass. Uh, let me know what you think of Pilsner or Quell. Uh, how do you think about it? And also other beers you'd like me to review, please comment down below. Uh, so out of five stars, really just as a beer, how good is it? Uh, the taste, uh, the price uh, influences it. Yeah, a little bit, but it really takes me back uh, to my time uh, in Europe. I couldn't get the three finger head uh, just right, which I believe that was a band in the 90s, wasn't it? Three finger head. I don't know. Uh, but I'm definitely putting this up on the four shelf. Uh, can I go a four nine? Yes, I can. 4.93 out of five stars. Pilsner or Kvel. Show the bottle one more time, they say, at 4.4% alcohol out of the Czech Republic. Yeah. And again, you're going to sit back and sip the six pack. Thank you, alliteration. That was hard to say. Uh, and you, this is not a slammable, well, it is a slammable uh, beer, but it, it hits just right. I think you're going to like it. I would compare it to uh, many German style beers um, and very uh, European style of beers, maybe a, a Weichenstefana, a Hofboy, if you like uh, those type of brews, which I do, I think you will like Pilsner or Kvel. Thank you for putting up with me for the past eight, nine minutes or so. And uh, comments, concerns, questions down below. Love to read them. I will respond to all positive comments. And it's a beautifully freezing day here in the Dead Beer Garden. So you grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Cheers. <laughs>